Hi, I'm Eugene Sakai with Studio S Squared Architecture. In this video, I'd like to share with you our thoughts on the value of good design. Let's get started. In the world of real estate, many factors affect the sale price of a single family home. Among these are lot size, school districts, proximity to parks and commercial districts, and age and condition of the structure. At Studio S Squared, we recognize that a superior architectural design also has a profound influence on value, and we take the time to focus on the details and quality that achieve superiority. First and foremost, we strive to create homes that are uniquely tailored to our clients' preferences, functional requirements, and budget. We reveal the inherent value in every house in sight by exploring multiple design alternatives that combine your needs with highly customized architectural design from day one in the design process. However, we also imbue our designs with things that have universal appeal, such as great curb appeal, light-filled interiors, well-proportioned rooms, and indoor-outdoor flow. All of these are inherent to our designs and will not only give you great enjoyment while you live in your home, but maximize your return on investment should you choose to sell. Let's look at a few examples that we've gathered over the life of our firm. In 2004, in the popular Allied Arts neighborhood of Menlo Park, we designed a major remodel where only the foundation and garage of the existing house were retained and a new second floor was added. Despite a relatively short holding period, the house sold for $1.4 million more than our client's purchase price and remodel cost. Our clients purchased the house in 2003 for $765,000 and had a construction budget of approximately $450,000. Their remodeled house sold for over $2.6 million. MLS data also shows that our client's house sold with multiple offers in two days for $120,000 over the asking price. Many of the prospective buyers at the open house commented that the house felt significantly larger than its actual square footage and that our site plan cleverly maximized the usable backyard. Only three months earlier, a newly constructed house, less than a block away, with nearly the same lot size, square footage, and program sold below its asking price for over $500,000 less than our client's home. Given that the comps on the project were nearly identical, we like to believe that it was the quality of our design that commanded the half million dollar price premium. There's an old adage in real estate, never build the best home on the block. Well, we have found that may not always be true, as we have seen through direct experience that buyers are willing to pay a premium for good architecture. In San Francisco's Bernal Heights neighborhood, I purchased a lot with a fire-damaged home on it for a cash offer of $300,000 in 2008. After two plus years of permitting and construction, and about $900,000 later, my family moved into our all-new, contemporary, three-level, 2,800-square-foot home. We sold this house a little over two years later for a $750,000 profit at a price which was the highest in our part of the neighborhood and by far the highest price on the block. Oftentimes, an A-plus design and keeping an eye on, quote, bang for the buck, unquote, can overcome even a C-minus location. Our value proposition is often tested most by our developer clients who hire us to design a home for maximum return on investment and put the house up for sale as soon as construction is complete. In this case, our client purchased a teardown in Midtown Palo Alto for $2.2 million, invested $1.2 million in plans, permits, and construction, and sold the house for $4.8 million 28 months later, for a before-tax profit of over $1.2 million. Fresh off that success, our client then purchased a nearby lot for $2.4 million, invested about $800,000 in plans, permits, and construction, and sold the house for $4.7 million 33 months later for a before-tax profit of around $1.4 million. I should caution you that spec home development is a high-risk business, and not for the faint of heart or undercapitalized. That said, Hiring an architect who understands how to create maximum value for your construction dollar can only help your chance of realizing a great outcome when it comes time to sell. 
It is difficult to exactly quantify the added value of a well-designed home, but the examples we've reviewed here show that design can have a significant impact on the value of your home and the potential sale price, even when the location is not ideal or the numerical comps may say differently. We cannot guarantee similar results for all clients, but it is always our goal to maximize the value of your home along with its beauty, livability, and functionality. We would be happy to work with you to create the best house possible within your budget, and once construction is complete, you too will believe in the value of good design. Thank you for watching our video on the value of good design. For more videos like this, please visit our YouTube channel or our website. Have a great day.